In this video, I'll show you how to install these mud flaps on a Dodge Challenger. This customer drives close to 4 miles on gravel to get to his home. So, we'll install the mud flaps on the front end and in the back to protect the paint from all the rocks flying up. So let's drive in the shop. To install the mud flaps, I'll take off the tires for better access. You could use a jack to lift up each corner separately. I'll do it on the hoist, makes it easier to work on and easier to record. I'll take off all tires at once, which should be pretty simple, unless you have a special anti-theft nut. You will usually find the socket in the trunk or in the glove box. I use a 22mm socket to remove the lug nuts. If you don't have an impact wrench, loosen the nuts before you lift up the vehicle, otherwise your wheel will just spin with your wrench. And then you can easily remove them by hand. Remove the tires on the other side and then we'll start installing the mud flaps. By the way, all the tools and the mud flaps will be linked in the description. I will only show you how to do it on the driver's side since it's the same on procedure on the passenger side anyways. First, make sure it's nice and clean around the area that you're working on. I'm just using some glass cleaner and a microfiber towel to clean the area. Then hit the like button to help me out. Remove these two 7mm bolts and these three push clips. With all three clips removed, you can easily push down the plastic and install the U-clip over the fender liner right here. Reinstall these two clips, but not that one. You can discard it, so the fender liner will be back in place. Now you can attach the mud flap marked as front left hand, but remove and discard the shape retainer first. Make sure you hook it in behind here like this. Take the long screws you've removed and install them again through the mud flap holes. Take one of the new supplied screws and bolt the mud flap to the fender liner. The new screws have 8mm heads. With the mud flap as a guide, center punch and drill a 3 32nd inch hole in the fender and use the other supplied screw to bolt the mud flap into the fender. That looks pretty good. What do you think? Now we can do the rear. Make sure it's clean before you do anything. Do not touch the bottom two clips. Hold the top two clips with a screwdriver or the like and drill them out with a quarter inch drill. Then remove the remainder of the plastic clip so the hole is clear. Take two of the supplied U-clips and push them on the bumper behind the fender liner. They have to be installed or pushed on all the way. Make sure your exhaust isn't hot though before you put your hand in there. It's a bit tough to push them on all the way but they'll go on eventually. Now install the mud flap that is marked as rear left hand. Make sure you hook it in just like the front. And attach the two of the supplied screws. Now use your mud guard as a guide to drill a quarter inch hole in the lower hole. Make sure you go all the way through. Then take the last U-clip and push it on the bumper where you just made the new hole. Install the last supplied screw and you're done. Just install the tires and don't forget to torque them. The torque spec for these tires is 130 foot pounds. Don't leave this special key on the nut or you'll have a big problem when you lose it. The Challenger doesn't even look that bad with mud flaps. If it were some universal mud flaps, it wouldn't look as good, I don't think. Check them out in the description, they really aren't a lot of money. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I also do have an Instagram where you could follow me for more car related content. Anyways, thanks for watching.